Deputy Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin says climate change remains one of the biggest concerns for the tourism industry today. He points out that the United Nations World Tourism Organization has warned that rising sea levels, loss of crop yield and extreme weather conditions will have direct impact on tourism and its products. In this regard, he expresses hope that the Pacific Asia Travel Association, PETA, will address this issue, exchange information and discuss initiatives during its 2012 annual conference. Uh, perhaps there is a need to identify new measures and further strengthen existing ones to mitigate its, the repercussions of climate change on travel and tourism. Tourist attractions and tourism commercial activities in the Asia-Pacific region largely consist of nature exploration and its natural environment and ecology, and therefore concerted efforts by all parties are necessary to protect these priceless resources. He told delegates during the conference held at the Royal Sulan Hotel on Saturday. He points out that with rapid globalization and development, private entities in the region must understand that nature and the environment must not be simply sacrificed for the sake of expanding commercial margins. He stresses that concerted efforts were needed from all parties, including government authorities, private sector and non-government organizations, to protect these priceless resources. In addition, this is where I believe specific conferences such as PATA 2012 assume an important platform to deliberate and, of course, identify specific viable and effective recommendations that would be useful guidance for the stakeholders at various levels to refer, adopt and or implement. Muhyiddin also says he's glad to note that Malaysia has been recognized as the third best in Asia Pacific and 25th amongst 132 countries last year in the Environmental Performance Index.